There we go. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Be a some first mate Drak here at your service. And yeah, we've resized things a bit as you can see. Uh, yeah, I wanted to try out a bigger screen. And maybe we'll go for just complete full screen. And just have things pop in, in the corner and such. Uh, I would need... I haven't been able to... Uh, no, I could have done before, but I forgot to. But this at the moment is a new scene, just called Big Screen at the moment. Which has most of the functional stuff copied over. Uh, chat, not so much though, but... Well, with how often chat act is active with us, that's not too much of a loss. I would need to change that. It is going in with this, but it's going to be less permanent with the messages that they will fade after a minute or so. <clears throat> well, yeah. yeah. At least I have enough time for us to notice it's there. Yeah. For now, though, welcome back to Serial Cleaners for the third time. And last time we got to know more about, well, <laughs> our cleaners. Uh, what they considered their best or most interesting cases. I'm still missing a bit of an overarching plot other than what they are just, them just telling stories to each other. But we'll see if that continues or not. Because it ha they, they have been working at it for 10 years, so they must have made some enemies. Um, yeah. Hmm. Listen, I only took up this job because you and Bob told me it concerns the world of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on the set of a sitcom where, well, <laughs> the laugh track ended up quite dead, along with the cast. Hmm. So, yeah, we need to get rid of the bodies. The evidence and trying to get caught. Here's the thing I noticed over the years. Something I kind of, kind of curious about now. Mm -hmm. it has there happened a something like this to a sitcom? I'm not sure. I may have to look that up for. There has been some show they. But Hello for Boss did it. This game did it. I think I've seen it before in some other shows as, as well, where a member of the cast went mad. Yeah, this is a I don't know trope, if I think, it's just a yeah. concept, or if it based on, inspired or based on something that actually happened. I'm not sure actually, but there are so many sitcoms, it, it's possible it could have happened at some point or another. Yeah. But at the same time, it makes you wonder why haven't they be many have heard of it since we keep seeing it in series and cartoons and such, but not spoken about actual events. So it makes me kind of wonder. Yeah, it could just, it could just be a trope that just just fiction, but yeah, <laughs> unless we were to go looking that up. We wouldn't find out. For now though, we have six bodies to take care of and three more pieces of evidence. And of course, clean up as much blood as we can as well. We just gotta keep in mind that some places here are going to be more open than they look. Like the fact that there's no wall between us and that cop there for a moment. Can we sneak behind him? Yes. The detective as well. I watch too much text to speech. For some reason, my brain was uh, raised and you were about to say techno priest. <laughs> I mean, tech priest. Oop. He's going armed. Okay. Dump that there. Get a save while we're at it. And for <laughs> they play a stupid laugh track here. While he's busy with that body. Wait, did he did he draw a new line there? Uh, okay, so we wait. What? Okay, I thought he would get reset there. But did he draw a new line around the body where we dumped it? 
I think so. Hmm. Let's see. Whilst he's just camping there, let's go up. And let's see. There isn't really a way of getting bodies over to the elevator here. And yes, he definitely did a line around that one there as well. So it, yes. it was only visible Remember from above. About the I actually remember some of our love tracks that he actually was a test to see if it could work to improve viewer counts and I mean it actually worked that he actually made audience laugh more and enjoy it more for a while yeah nowadays most people consider them to be completely and utterly annoying yeah and rather fake yeah especially when people notice it's the same laughter over and over like in the first times you hear it, you do, maybe don't notice this notice it you think all oh, right the audience loving it but then you notice it that it sounds the same if very often they would have a few variations but you sort of notice it yeah, they've only um, got... They've used the same ones since, like, the freaking 60s or something. Oops. Yeah. And I think they have several. Like, there's three or four or something, but... After hearing all four after a while... Yeah, it... It uh, breaks... Completely. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. If it's also at that point you realize... Yeah, the Yorks is not funny. But usually you, when many people are laughing, you end up laughing too. So they kind of infectious like that. Depending on one's humor, of course, there's a limit. But that, what you notice yeah. is that the laughter is there forced. There's no one actually laughing. Yeah, then it just but, gets annoying. So, yeah, but people were laughing for it to be recorded, yes, but yeah, it, it kind of ruins the whole thing. Yep. Okay, I went the other way. I would think it would go. I mean, that's probably why some of the more better sitcoms that are more liked don't use it. They actually have... Actually, you know, think about it. Scrubs actually had one episode of a sitcom, but they did use those laugh in, in a bit of a jab reason. Yeah, poking fun of it. Yeah, no, I don't know if Scrubs would count as a sitcom. Mm, partially, I think. Yeah, it has some sitcom-like things, but not really. Maybe it doesn't count. But yeah, there, there are... Okay, now I'm actually unsure if other sitcoms actually stopped using it. The more if I even think about it, the more it's the question, are they, are they still actually doing it? Just all the comedy shows, just did not bother with it? It could be. I, I'm pretty sure those laugh tracks have been used since like the freaking 70s or something. Yeah, it w probably. Here. I'm, I'm suspecting at least 60s as earliest. Yeah, at, at this point, I would consider it more like a, a relic to be joked with, like the, the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, the, the Wilhelm scream has, at least unlike that, actually aced well. Yeah, technically it hasn't aged that well uh, at all, it's that, just that laugh tracks have aged in a very annoying way. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, the Wilhelm scream has aged well. Yeah. Hello, is that a... That's one of those film canisters that we could find in the previous game to unlock extra levels. Ooh. Okay, uh, it's ev okay, it's evidence. I thought it <laughs> I thought it would be used for unlocking stuff again. Oh. Oh. I wonder if there is still stuff like that in this game. Um, ill. Mm -hmm. 
You know what this means, right? Uh, <laughs> it wasn't... It didn't say anything about unlocking stuff. Ooh. So, uh, I mean, yeah. if that film is evidence... Yeah, either someone has been recording what has been going on here, or... Yeah, someone was bashed over the head with it, though it didn't seem to have any blood on it. Yeah, it could have been recorded accidentally or intentionally. So no, if what we were... did with the Echo Killer. Yeah, the... I mean, we don't know if this happened live or not. Do if this happened live during filming? Then that could have been... Uh... Definitely evidence if there's someone went ballistic during filming. Yeah, filming is typically isn't done live unless it's like a, a cooking show or such. Yeah. There is a reason why they usually say film in front of a live audience. Yeah, instead of live recording. Are, are those two stuck there or something? Yeah, so it's still... Basically, you just imagine you, you filming and recording and the uh, madness happens while the camera is rolling. Yeah, and I that hadn't noticed we could climb that. That will make it evidence. Let's see, am I going to need? Am, going, am I going to have to dislodge these two here or something? It looks like they're just plain stuck. Can I Hold sneak on. around you? I recognize that. Is this supposed to be a reference to friends? Could be. Kind of looks similar to the other. Like, it's not not like a point on point uh, copy, but has enough similarities that makes you think. You know what I think it is for? The other room looks like the other guy's I think it's supposed to be a reference to friends. Could be. <laughs> I haven't seen that show in over a decade. Same, but I recognize the layout. I... Again, I think it's... A, I say this again. It's a <laughs> reference. A homage. Yeah. I, I okay, I'm sure almost so more shit, but definitely a reference to friends. I bonked him so hard with the door that his head was showing through it for a bit. Oh, holy! That you need me to be careful with the doors. I do like it when games allow you to weaponize doors, though. And speaking of doors, uh, Roblox is often underestimated. I think I, I think we spoke of them somewhat recently as well, but that it's now more. Or it was hmm, not sure if I talked about that with you or someone else, but Roblox is by many, myself included, to have been just uh, only like a, a Minecraft knockoff. But no, it's more like a an open platform for people to build their own stuff in, including games. And lately a new game, or I'm actually not sure how new it is or isn't, uh, but recently a game with that called, just called Doors has been getting quite popular. And hmm, what it is is basically, si it's similar to the, the old horror game Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, is as in you have to, you have to go from room to room and just get, you start in room one, you need to end up in room 100. And yeah, in the meantime, you'll have to dodge monsters and such. And basically, from... someone trying to recreate Spooky's Yum Scare Horrors, which needed to change their name due to it was a actual, a 
attraction pogs over with that name, so they had to change the name. Yep. But basically that, yes. Though, le with a bit less of the silly side of it as well. Those two are just really freaking stuck. <laughs> Okay, we just need to get rid of a bit of blood somewhere. Let's see, where can we clean up some? Down here. Yeah, they they are just plain stuck. Did you hear that? This is... The moment I start cleaning, they're going to hear it. Is that good? That's just going to pop up every time we cross there, through there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I do suspect that the vacuum cleaner is using one of those... ...things you just clean up a smudge on the floor with a sort of steam... ...thing? For just vacuum cleaning blood, just suck your blood with a vacuum cleaner. Would be a good way to ruin the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, unless it's specifically made for it. Yeah. So that hence why I think it may have used a bit of a steam thing going on, though. Actually, when I think about it, it could be it, though. They are very slow. Glad that's over and done with. Jesus. I hate sitcoms. It's Pavlovian conditioning. You can say anything. The audience will laugh anyway. <laughs> I don't think my burgeoning art career is giving me any fulfillment despite my material success. Just hammering this point into the ground. I lost my best friend in the entire world, and I don't know why. Sometimes I'm so sad I want to vomit. The chemistry in my brain's name's wrong! The woman I love is an alien space sometimes! Okay, we get it. Just get it over with. Like children responding to the rhythms, not the content. Let's just go. I'd never speak of this again. Yeah. No, they did hammer down point what we were been saying earlier. Yeah. And I just realized it was not just the laughter, it was the applauds, the ooh. Like, yeah. Like, I think, I think there has been more sitcoms being made, but I can't tell you this. Many of them. I have been ignored by us as Swedes. I have to be. Okay, what have we now? 98, quite a bit time, quite some time later. Up, huh? Yeah. Guess I'm breaking in. Okay, it. Yeah, I don't think we really hear anyone speak about sitcoms. Hmm. They are sort of a dying thing these days. Already plenty dead. What yeah, is this like, place? I, I know the how. Last time I semi tried to watch TV again, I noticed there was still thing and making new ones. Hangman's MTV but, <laughs> Cute. Yeah, they were not that great. Like, and people say they love Two and a Half Men. Still kids. I didn't. Yeah, same with Big Bang Theory. Just, just sometimes, and part of it is the might for some people could be the content and such or the subject. But in other cases, which I've had with Big Bang Theory, it's just it keeps going on and 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 on. And hell, hell, deep breaths. Yeah, it, it just it, they just drive it into the ground if, over time. It, you've they, people have seen that with uh, The Simpsons as well. Yeah. Kind of feels like you turned me into some. I don't know. Maybe an anchor connecting him to reality. Kind of romantic. But at the same time, completely not. At least I hope not. I never thought of him as anything but the brother. 
brother I never had. Reminds me of someone else I know. Right. I should talk about the boyfriend or her brother, not... Now I'm all confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing she's talking about this hangman that we cleaned up for before. Uh, uh, huh. Probably her friend. I'm, I'm not sure if he was named his, at the first one that uh, in her first story with the robbery. That could have been him as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm thinking, uh, yeah, friend or boyfriend that she was yeah tied his family with. Hmm. Yeah, and also before my mother and I had a few folks that do love Big Bang Theory, and they had tried to make me watch it, but I've seen some some bits here and there, and I can't stand it. Yeah, overall it is good, but it is also extremely overexposed, I would say. Yeah, so for me is uh, I have seen people who try to how to say this. Do you know the character Sheldon? Yeah. I, have, I felt that, like in the past people see me as a Sheldon, but I'm... Like, they, when they hear I have syndromes, that's what they imagine me to behave. Yeah, like robotic. Which is This is not wrong. true. I tried my best to not be like that unless I'm extremely tired. Though if I'm extremely tired on tour sleep, stay away from me. You yeah. don't want to near, near, near me around that time. Okay, but Let's yeah, this at least I think. Yeah, his handwriting doesn't look like anything to me, but might as well take it. Hmm. But yeah, I also heard people, some rare case, people make a Sheldon joke towards someone with a syndrome. I just felt like not okay. struggling to breathe. The way he lived was no way to live. But maybe it's for the best. I have nothing left to prove. Yeah, sounds like he isn't around Maybe anymore. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me, or the room still smells like him. Those really are my artworks. God damn it, Andre. I'm actually feeling kind of annoyed that this place seems to have been ransacked. <laughs> Except for the arts. Nobody cared about my paintings. I mean, not that this is the most important thing going on here, of course. I've had enough. Time to go. I, I think I might be a bit too dense to actually be getting some of the underlying story bits. What a coincidence. Oh, um, yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, not really. I was visiting your son's place. I had a hunch that was the case, yes. Was it a fruitful visit? I was looking for some closure and got it, so yes, I suppose. He got what was coming to him. What else is there to say? It, is that what you really believe? You think you know something that I don't? Spare me. He betrayed you, himself, me. In the end, he couldn't even stay loyal to his identity as a traitor. His death was that of an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing, never understanding what he is. Always stuck in between, destined for oblivion. I have to go. It was good to see you. Yeah. What the heck did he not. do? For that was his. That was his own mother saying that. The questionable morality of the whole TV industry is one thing, but there's just nothing artistic in those procedural shit shows. The modern IRL art can just f o h when compared to EDH. I'll stick with sitcoms. You're neurotic and a narcissist, Aaron. Of course you'll stick with sitcoms. Come on. It couldn't possibly be that bad. At least not as bad as Aaron's precinct infiltration. Or Rikers. Okay. I don't even know what, what would F-O-H stand for. 
fuck off here or yeah. something? I, I said is that they went a little bit too ham uh, with a hacker speed that has not even begun to become a thing yet at that point. It could also... Mm, they, they could have done it a lot worse with her as well, but let's move yeah. on. Yeah. I have seen we worse. I mean, Rikers. I always wanted to, but I thought he's quiet Rikers. for a reason. Rikers. Oh, Rikers. Ah, ah. It's been Rikers. years. Rikers. And he's in a much better. Ah, ah. Rikers. Rikers. About Rikers. it, Rikers. might actually do him good. Rikers. 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 Okay. Rikers. Rikers. Uh. Uh, okay, I get the feeling we would have had much less of a reaction <laughs> if we had selected Viper there. Uh, this is going to have. This is going to end with them having to clean one of them up, isn't it? Rikers Island. Yeah. Ninety-seven, New York City. Abusive practices in the local penitentiary got even worse in recent years. The scent of revolt was in the air, but the final straw was Echo Killer's transfer to a minimum security prison. The uprising was quashed so brutally the warden had no option but to hire a cover-up professional. Good evening. I'll skip the pleasantries since time is of the essence. There's been a riot. It's gotten a little messy. There's an inspection today. It better not get messy. I'd love to put you like a pig and hang you with your own intestines. If it isn't Mr. Bowen, you managed to find a place for yourself? Resocialization achieved, I'd say. I don't expect another explanation of my methods will be effective. So I'll just leave you to your devices. Okay. Oh, mayhem. Let the prisoners out. <laughs> okay. Now, now I'm wondering, could, could we have played this level as either Psycho or Viper? Hmm. That needs a card. Okay. I don't think Viper will do... Uh... Release the prisoners. Yeah, she's anti-social enough to try something at least. Yeah, but she's not an idiot though. That is a bit debatable, seeing as she actively sought out the <laughs> uh, that she actively sought Bob out. Yeah, but at the same time, it's one of the low works. Like you don't want to be seen at all and all that. Like, yes, she is arrogant, but... I don't think she will consider releasing... prisoners uh, like that as well. You, you saw her reaction to him with the chainsaw. Yeah, I think everyone would react to that. Yeah, uh, and if you... Toothbrush ship. Yeah, and that also means... If she has that normal reaction to even that, that means she would probably know if she realized all prisoners from prison. Is a chance she really is someone worse than Psycho? Okay, can I just... Let's see, where is the disposals here? We have the... Okay, we have only the car to dispose of. Okay. I'm just going to notice that the body is gone. And can we dodge this guy? Okay, that worked. Uh, but what the hell just happened? We knocked him out. We knocked him down with the, the door and now we stuck him in the dumpster. No, 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 no. It looked like you made his head get stuck in the door, then knocked him 
over somehow. Did the game glitch or something? Yeah, it's just the physics being a little bit wonky. Uh, wait, I just realized. The warden hired you to clean up the mess. Yeah. But it's still... Wait, are these not his own guards? Yeah, they, prob they probably are, but... Uh, I don't think you'd want to have your corruption known to your own people that much. Or at least yeah, there are but... so many coughs that it's likely that at least one of them would start talking. Mm, true. Very true, but at the same time... No, he probably did hire these guys due to him know they could uh, do it. Uh, discreetly and all. And also... Did they say the Echo Killer? Yeah. Thought of the riot? No, they... Oh, crap. Oh? Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, the riot started because they were going to move him to a, a minimum secure uh, a minimum security prison and yeah I'm g very much guessing that they did not like <laughs> they did not like that at all Oop. okay that would say that the, even the uh, the, yes. the regular prisoners don't want him with them. All right. Hmm. I'm drawing a bit of a blank on... There's a difference between jail and a full-on prison. And I forget what Rikers is. Like, it is very, it is very infamous. I think Rikers is a full-on prison, so everyone here has already been sentenced, because you, you go to jail when you haven't been you know, sentenced yet. When you have gotten your sentence, you you get sent off to prison. Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, Rikers is supposed to be a high-security prison. And yeah, I'm guessing the riot wasn't wasn't so much out of morals and more the fact that if uh, if an absolute psycho like uh, the Echo Killer can be yeah given not really amnesty but be uh, yeah have their not sentence reduced or anything like that, but they probably would have see it as an insult of sorts to uh, yeah <laughs> to all of them that. That guy is allowed to get out, uh, to uh, get into a, a less, uh, a less strict place compared to all of them, when they all know <laughs> what sort of psychopath he is. Really, we can't switch the power off here. No, I wonder. Oh no. We both remember the Echo Killer being a... Oop. Oh no. Yeah. It... Did he intentionally? Yeah, I, I don't think he... Yeah, I don't think he was... I don't think he started it, because he, pr he probably would want to get out of this place to a minimum security. Okay. But I get the I mean, feeling like... we are going to... We are going to see him be involved later. Yeah, uh, I mean, is what if he was behaving such a good behavior that he knew he would be moved, but uh, might have hoped that it, it would cause some reaction with the others and uh, used it to escape? Mm, maybe. The guy was smart, but I'm not sure if he would be clever enough to be that manipulative. True, but we do know he holds a grudge. Yeah, so I, I would not be surprised at all if he managed to escape at one point to go after Bob. Yeah, it might be enough motivation for him to really plan for the long run, the long game and all that. Let's see. 
also Brody, mayhem. It could just be that he, he was just behaving, plotting, planning. And then when he finally saw this riot happen, he might have just taken the opportunity. Yeah, we'll, we'll know if we hear any, anything about Echo Killer escaped or anything like that. Now, for a moment I thought he was going to walk in. Pretty sure he should be able to see us like that. <laughs> Just see Psycho's ass sticking out from behind a not much of a desk. Come on, be dumb enough to walk in. Okay. Let's see, we have some blood a level lower. for him to pass by. Let's see, leave me a crap. <laughs> okay, that, that we do have it lucky that Psycho can just charge through them when they aren't trying to shoot us. Yeah, I think it makes sense why we have Riker here for... I think the other characters would struggle. Yeah, I think you mean that we, that's why we have Psycho here at Riker's? <laughs> it's not called Riker's. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, you said, you know, why we, that's, you, uh, you talk, you, <clears throat> you talked about Psycho as if he was named Riker. I, I think oh. you might have been mixing up, ah, damn it. I oh, think you might have been I, I mixing up. I must have up, done uh, it without realizing. <laughs> damn it. Okay, been a bit, been a bit since we did a save there, so we lost some. Okay, let's try to do this one level at a time now. Send the prisoners out to cause a distraction. Though I think they are actually adding to the body count when they get killed like that. Yeah. Is that supposed to be optional or just a distraction? Nope. Okay. I think it is supposed to be for possible distraction, but since there is evidence in the cells, it is, yeah, also a bit required. Okay, let's, let's just open everything up. You know, Saku, you could probably just climb over that, but you probably would... <laughs> have less uh, issues with that if you weren't lugging around a heavy chainsaw everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I just realized something. I think Psycho is a reference. Hmm? Uh, Psycho, I mean. Psych. Yeah. Psych, what? <laughs> have we watched too much for the k lore videos? Maybe. Okay, table felt a bit unstable there for a moment. But yeah, the if you look at on? Psycho, it looks familiar. His white hair is very tall, he has a coat. Feels like I've seen him... Someone like that in an uh, 80s movie. I think that pretty much describes like half of every and <laughs> 80s uh, protagonist ever or 
antagonist in some cases. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a reference with him. Okay, you're into that. And now we can use this to get around. I wouldn't be surprised if part of this uh, riot was trying to cover up an escape attempt. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. That More a big yeah. escape attempt than just the Echo Killers. Well, Echo Killer, or does that, or he gather a cult? Uh, or a group I or meant something? as in the Echo Killer uh, escape attempts. Yeah, wait, basically what I said earlier. Yeah, but I, I don't think that is the case. I'm guessing they moved him before the riot happened, and that pissed him off, because of course they're not going to tell the prisoners stuff like that. Wait. You said they wouldn't tell prisoners about that. And they would find out through some way, eventually, but they wouldn't... T they, they would not tell them stuff like that ahead of time. Or too far ahead of time. <laughs> what if... What if si the Echo Killer, I mean... What if the Echo Killer knew and did the, was the one telling? Yeah, well, they they someone... probably would inform them of them being moved. That would make sense. Yeah, for that will. Yeah, that, if he was the one, it himself or had someone do it for him, tell them. That would make a lot of sense. What is going on? Okay. I'm just going to run you over. Open this up. Close that up. Close that up again and open up this shortcut so we can just immediately go back here and have easy access to the saves here. Wait, is that the, the warden who is still standing there or something? Or, no. Okay, we can actually go this way as well. Let's grab you. Cut. Went through him, okay? And yeah, I, I think it wasn't entirely necessary for me to cut up all the bodies beforehand, but. Uh, <laughs> hey, you, stop! Oop, missed a shot there. Good. Let's just stay out of his sights until he calms down. So we'll just slip back in here. Actually, you come over here. <laughs> just plopping him around like that. There you go. Into the trash. We'll take this card here for whatever that is needed. Clean this up. Okay. okay not, I'm not sure if I would consider... Uh, what would that be called? A, a nightclub? Uh, not a, a billy club? No. Hmm. What? Nightstick, maybe? But, but no, it's a tonfa, I think. I don't think those would typically be that big. What the heck are you on about? The, the big evidence that he was picking up there. This the stick with the side thing with the handle on the side. This here. That's a tonfa, I think. Okay. Okay, stick that away. Get a save. One body to evidence, but we know that we'll have to make more bodies to get to the evidence. Maybe it would have been smarter to grab one of the cops up here and stick them in the container, but oh well. Uh, you went to go over and buy a blanket. I don't know, you're supposed to cozy to actually use a blanket while this co-hosting here in this recliner. 
Chris, I actually forgot to say, um, you know, during our the Borderland stream, yeah, I actually realized how far back I can recline. <laughs> okay, and that I is. Can, I can't use this as a bed. That's how far I can go. Okay, okay maybe maybe a dentist will not want this, but still. <laughs> yeah, if even my bed broke, I guess I could use this as an improvised bed. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab one of the bodies, bring that out. Damn it. Let's see, where's the switch? Yeah. There you go, just the switch. And there we go. Damn it. I thought I could run him over before he could act. Oh well, I think that does mean. No, this one is in used before now. Oh well. We can still do this, we're just getting unlucky with how trigger happy they are. Yeah. Dude, they did just have a riot, so... Yeah. Also, can you still hear me well? Yep. Oh, good, good, fam. A bit further away. <laughs> Let's go from the top to bottom again here. And no one heard that. Yep. Oh, it, it's due to make the game playable, but... Okay, yeah, now they're on high alerts. I feel like both games underestimate uh, how well the humans hear or see. It's mostly for the. F it's mostly so we don't get immediately just shot a bit, shot to pieces. Yeah, and uh, yes, also it would otherwise also make the games way harder, and else just. Otherwise, you just need to make them, the maps, actually, just way bigger. Yeah, they, they, he totally should have been able to see Psycho's ass there. Okay, they're starting to cool down, or they cooled down. The moment one of them spots me, they're probably going to go back on high alert, so... He's just going to get another look of Psycho's ass. There we go. We just wait for him to pass so we can get to the evidence and work our way down. Wait. Uh, what? End those bodies down there on the second floor. Oh, first floor. How we. But it, it's different in each country almost here. Uh, those were there. Are those the prison you released, or were yep. they already there? Those were the prisoners that were released. Okay. Wait for him to move. Let me grab the evidence. Okay. Yeah, the, the two oh, bodies oh. on the middle floor are going to be the most difficult to get to, I'd say. Yeah, and I just realized you're making there be, there be more bodies to collect. Yep. But uh, he said there would be an inspection the next day. Um, I think I know it's a flaw with the warden's plan. Yeah. Um. I'm pretty sure they will ask where are the prisoners? They could probably just claim that uh, they've been sent to a different ward or something up the prison or wing. Um, I'm sure of, uh, since uh, inspectors like said that, I suspect will be of the entire thing. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't have to mean specifically that they're there to check on the prisoners and more just the conditions of this of the prison in general. Yeah, and that's what I mean. They do the rule thing. 
they will loot this in this wait where's the prisoners and yeah, this isn't the only wing yeah but i will inspect all the wings to make sure all of the prison is in good condition yeah they might they they can just as well move some from another part here to fill in quite literally Three more bodies, two after this one. Come on. Hmm. Where does it... Oh. Welcome to... Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's cut him up because... Psycho just completely refuses to drag bodies instead of just, yeah, moving them through the little grate. He just needs to move. He just needs to cut them in pieces before he'll even consider the option. Okay. I'm guessing on higher difficulties we would be ha we would be dealing with four limbs for every body that we'd cut up. Since, well, four oh. limbs. Ooh. Just need to clean a bit more blood. Before I forget, we might not stream tonight unless uh, Helium is more awake for it. Yeah. Mm. So, a stream tonight. A week, maybe. A week, maybe. So don't put bets on it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm on my second vacation day now, but my sleep schedule is still trying to think uh, work time and such. Yeah, even even so, yes, you know, we take it tomorrow as our day off. Then we have a stream on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Yeah. So that's what's we'll this weekend, goes. basically. Yeah, but I, I'm guessing at least with tomorrow as a way for you to, uh, well, recover from work, so to speak. Yeah. <sighs> Again, you have it. we'll just see. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, you're the boss. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I said that wrong. Pardon me. You're the bot. I butchered that badly. Yep. Okay, I let's get some to go, into I try to all go to Orcish, but I end up almost go dwarf for some reason. The dwarkish? Oh dear gods. Don't even help come on those. Just making <laughs> sure there. One last Dorkish. body. He's the boss. There we go. So since you're a cat, then would that make you a big boss? It could be, or war boss. Only war boss. Nope. The wing and the thigh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> That's oh, probably oh. for cutting up a certain amount of bodies. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay, we need a bit more since. We yep, there we go. We cost more blood to spill, and out. Not enough prose for me. But I think I get the idea. Violence poetry. 
the best tool to convey your disillusionment with the system. Y'all had your own insight into the deep rot, ain't that right? Albeit from different vantage points. The police station on one side, the sitcom set on the other. Police station? SWIW, none of us expected what this low rank police quest would turn into. A straight up suicide mission for the good of the family. Okay, are we going to get into more overarching then now? Let's see, 96, New York City, Flatlands. For several years, the DA tried to put together the RICO case against Don Rena. Now with one of the now with one of the Battaglia bookkeepers in a cell, the multiple proofs of fraud, of tax fraud lying all over the Flatlands precinct, Rena's whole criminal network is in danger. Unless, of course, the evidence gets deleted. <laughs> Viper, stop messing with the loading screens. Ugh. Why does this precinct even allow these air ducts to be so big? Absolutely crazy. Maybe they fantasize about using them McLean style one day during a Soviet invasion or something. Die hard. Whatever. I have a job to do. So, without further ado, General Bob. I have managed to infiltrate the enemy area. Commencing mission. <laughs> Metal Gear. Really? <laughs> You're going to be making Metal Gear references, Piper. Was it? Was it you released? Uh, wait, not the 96th. Oh, oh, we're dealing with cameras now as well. Oh wait, actually, I might. Was it Metal Gear about that this time released? Or hmm. was it soon to be released? For the, I think Metal Gear was released before 2000. What was that one I saw with a the key there? For Metal Gear was released for PlayStation 1. Okay, it's up. For um, uh, being here. PlayStation 2 came after the Millennium Shift, sometime after there. So, yeah, I think PlayStation 1 or released or was about to be released 1996 yeah i think it was out already then the game is being a bit uh what would be the, the term i forgot about the camera there um, it's being a bit mixy with things i'd say yeah it does Kinda of made me confusing. Okay. We're going to get and see that uh, bookkeeper get executed or something, aren't we? Okay, we, at least we now know what the evidence is and where it should be. mess with here can mess with the camera and the lights in this room but there's no real need for that also she did a thing that actually makes me cringe mm, that is whatever yeah I I really talk like, there's somebody going to talk I can handle, but when they all do it, they will whatever thingy. Doing the whole hand thing and it's so nonchalant, arrogantly. I don't know why, but that makes... That makes me somehow combat ready to punch or something. Let's see. Okay, we could turn that off. On distance but I guess it must be the lights here okay that'll keep her busy for uh, him busy for a moment let's through this and uh, that evidence in the vending machine or something oh no it's on top of it wait let's do that okay. you could wait that was valley girl you think Are you sure something like I used to just call it Prawn Queen. 
says they like you know in TV shows usually queen of the school well self proclaimed usually okay. sometimes have that kind of speech. Okay, that was new. He used his walkie-talkie to call someone else to the other side of the vent. That's a big problem. That's three pieces there. But yeah, I mean, I, find, hmm. I think the reason I dislike that talk is most times I hear that, I usually see that in a movie or series where the, a bully is speaking like that. Yeah, and some with the same, yeah, with a shallow, as shallow a, a personality as a puddle. Yeah, so whenever I hear it, I go into combat mode or something for I, I don't like bullies. Like, like yeah, sure, I can tease him a little bit, but I have lines. I will not outright bully him. There's our way out. One way, probably. The fact that the doors here work with key cards is going to make things more difficult. Let's see. They have this stuff just strewn around all over the place. Okay, so the latch is on the inside, so we could hide in there if need be. might be a bit of an issue. <laughs> yeah, okay. I thought that would be another level down, but no. And now we need to do that all over again. Okay. Yeah, we, we really should... We, we should make more frequent you know, visits to this save points. Yeah... So even that is a kind of a challenge at times. Okay, can't seem to skip this, but it isn't too long. Okay, is it all in the same place? Oh wait, that turned off the light in the entire area? Okay, we were not in that. I'm pretty sure we were not. Also, let's lock this so we just have a safe area here. Okay, we can also save at this thing now. Hmm. Turn that. Nope. Turn that right back off again. Okay. That. I have to say, I, I do like the game so far. But I, I'm very neutral about the story. Where you going? Yeah, there, there isn't much of a story just yet. Yeah, like the first game, like it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a massive dialogue, but there was a story going on. It was through really unraveling. Here is, like, I, I like to have several playable characters. Yeah, I, I think we are but, starting to get to a point where things are going to become more coherent of a story, beyond uh, how do these idiots survive each other. Yeah, for so far... Uh, there, it seems to be a story going on here, just... Not as connect... Like... Hey, you, no. The first one we start, oof, pardon, start to realize we accidentally we were yeah. cleaning up of the certain serial killer and all that. But here, th there's so many characters and so many different stories here and there that it actually becomes way much more to take in. 
Yeah, it isn't too many characters. We have Bob, we have uh, the other three. We've got Don Reno. And we are going to have to steal a card of someone or sneak in behind them. Yeah. The... I guess the thing is, the... in the other game, whenever before we start a new mission, there was plenty of time to read the, the news, the radio, to get plenty of information. Yeah. Because we only get some information, but now it's spread out to several characters, backstory, motivations and all that, and the story of the game. With five people. Can't get up this. Come on. It does make me wonder if the game is. Well, I guess I guess it would be weird if this somehow was shorter in the first game. Yeah. So I do expect it to be a bit longer, but currently I am kind of wondering how long might it be, and will they be able to? case out the story and all that evenly so it doesn't feel too slow or too much at once yeah, we'll have to see if it stays with a character piece with this or if there is going to be more overarching yeah well we haven't seen that that Don guy mentioned repeatedly yeah and Serbians yeah, and Hangman? Okay, get in here. Nope. There are also guess the, the reason I kind of feel like this way at the moment is probably... This game had a quite a much longer tutorial level than the first game. Okay, that's a one-way exit. Like, the first game, you basically started the game almost right away. Here we had to tour the level, the levels for each character. Yeah, now if there wasn't, we'd be complaining about that, probably. Yeah. So I guess I'm just... I just being slow at the moment. Well, it technically be just starting the game now. <laughs> or that last stream, probably, would be better to say. Yeah, our first stream was short since we, well, ended things short with the previous game. Oh, true. Almost forgot that. So we are at the moment four hours in each. Okay, give me that. And bye. Oh, yeah, you see that? Okay, there isn't anything we can get in here, but we can probably sneak in and sneak out after the officer. Then, then again, we okay, we can just hide on the now it needs the camera's view. Oh, he didn't lock it. Bye. <laughs> good, good luck getting in now. Oh, you didn't do lock itself? Oh, no, no, I, I unlocked it. Where you going? There we go. Fix that. Okay, two pieces of evidence left, and one of them is in the observation room. Okay. Uh, let's put down the save again now that the door is locked. And see if we can get close enough. Let's see. Where is the other piece? Nope. Okay. 
it it fills up pretty quickly but when the the line from them to us turns red that is when they're going to shoot okay hey you stop like like there you can you can only see it pretty well, quickly yeah i saw that and once you see it's red it's too late uh, if we can still break line of sight uh, let's see how do we even get it is this guy even okay yeah oh no he's he's a civilian so he he doesn't actually uh, he isn't actually a threat to us other than well an alert to them Literally behind his back. Okay, and now we have a card of our own. Okay, now where is this last piece of evidence then? It's, up, it's right back there again. Okay. Disable that. Let's disable that. And now we just need to get around. Timing there. Okay, this this is ours now. Yoink! Don't stand still while you're there. This is going to be awkward to explain to their boss with this, uh, like. So you had you had a young woman running around the precinct for how long now? And why weren't you able to catch her? Because she locked herself in your office, sir. <laughs> uh, there's going to be people fired for this. <laughs> oh, now we need to wipe the hard drives. Offer a lot at both people as the mic, as usual, is very picky. <laughs> very well pick it up. Uh, okay, simple enough. Uh, yeah, that, that, that will be a, a very big humiliation. Okay, th uh, this is a bit annoying that they can see through that specific rate, it seems. Okay, both of you just head out. You. And just scrub this thing completely. A cleaner's case. Oh, hello. sure she can't actually call him or anything. We should play the game. Okay, where's the evidence? There and oh hello, someone has gone into the office now. Or, wait. I thought I saw someone in here. Am I starting to see things? pieces over there and he said this way okay just got
gotta wait for the camera to turn. <laughs> what is with this officer guy that keeps popping up here? Okay. Question is, who has been talking? Or who have they been followed? Who has been sloppy with their work? Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. I totally did it. I saved all of our asses. I'm like Kevin McNick meets John McClane and I'm cool as hell and... I was scared as hell and I never want to do it again. But I will never admit to it. No way in hell. I will make them all bow to Queen Viper. ISTM, you've yet to thank me for saving your asses. LOL. I'll let that one slide, but you need to step up your game. Okay, time out, folks. I'm sensing some unresolved issues and unnecessary resentments. Oh my, what gave you the hint? Chainsaw furniture? I wanted a nice evening to close this chapter of our lives. Kick back, laugh, reminisce. Oh, I see. And that's why you caused Hal to have Vietnam flashbacks about... You know where? Guys, I make mistakes. But you doubt that I always have your best interest in mind. Nope. Eyes yet to open. And that's not another... That's another... <clears throat> chapter done. We're going to get follow up on this, I'm pretty sure, because just because we got rid of evidence doesn't mean we got rid of all of it, Adam. Okay, Rikers, the sitcom. Wasn't there earlier that it was guest starring uh, a detective or something? I get the feeling I think that was we a are... sitcom with friends, and then uh, a guest star. I, I yeah, this, I think that was supposed to be him here in the in the brown coat. Okay, spring of '97. Time is over. At least that means he's probably still in jail. So he didn't escape. Uh, some literature I've collected. Six volumes of books of blood. In cold blood. Some blood meridian. I like my art to help me keep focused. Eyes on the prize. Cleaning time is over. Okay, just the days going by, going by the calendar. I had one of those and I actually honed my hand on one of those TVs. 
Wenn... Yeah, best to avoid that. And hear somebody else's voice. It's actually perfectly normal for a man to talk to himself when he's living alone for too long. <laughs> Holy. Bob's right, going to be a... loco. Time is oh. over. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was say, is it... When I had my TV, my last this kind of TV, a smaller one, I was back from the dorm, I was to carry it through a doorway, and I... Yeah, my hand got stuck between the, the TV and the door frame. It hurt like hell, and it did start to bleed. Okay. Ah, some stolen evidence that I kept as mementos. I don't keep anything that could be easily recognized as evidence, of course. Learned that lesson the hard way. Yeah, because of all of the souvenirs that were used against Bob. Also, oh the objective, give in to the eternal recurrence. Uh oh, bloody uh, heck. Check the newspaper. That was some 21st century predictions. Plagues, pollution, stagnation, fascism, terrorism. Wonderful. Absolutely fucking wonderful. Uh, uh. Well, I wonder what the sad thing is. Yeah, a lot of it is actually accurate. <laughs> yeah, and still going on. Okay, so he did provoke it. Crime scene consultant sometimes, taking him out in a cage. Oh, sir. Jesus, I miss you, mom. Some say hell is other people. Me, I spent years in hell alone. It taught me to appreciate company. I can't lie. I'm fond of these punks. They are a mess, but mess is where I thrive. As long as it's rewarding to take care of it. Right? The news says history has ended. A toast to all the efforts that made it seem this way. Including ours. It's just that sometimes there are regrets. And the thing about having regrets is that they lead you to thinking the wrong things. And that led me to... Uh, who the heck is paging me at this time? I ah, forget it. Wait. I'll check it in a minute. Those damn kids want me to talk about the time they saved me from the gates of hell. Not a fun story. But I own um... that one. Especially tonight. It's the dawn of a new era, for better or for worse. Wasn't that, uh, wasn't that page thing coming from the guy they had supposedly dead in the basement? Oh, oh wait, hey, wait, what? Uh, the the page said Mitch, Mitch uh, Milton, and I'm pretty sure it was Mitch Milton that's supposed to be dead downstairs. So yeah. someone is using their phone, or uh, he ain't as dead as they thought. Um, uh, yeah, I think you want to read the text. Yeah. 97, New York City, Bushwick. Two decades passed since the last time Bob heard the all-too-familiar voice on the phone. The echo killer escaped his cell with a clear goal in mind, involving Bob in, in, the, in the library manslaughter. The murder maestro rejoins... The cleaning virtuoso for one last performance. Their final chef d'oeuvre, or something like that. Ah, mon frère bien ami, have you missed our carefree strolls through the gardens of lunacy? Jesus Christ! Give up the edgy serial killer as guide stick, Echo. It's intellectually beneath you. The one who cleans obeys the one who defiles. I design the games you play. I am your god, bitch. This is insanely embarrassing. You're like 60 years old. You've reached the cathedral of sin I've built just for you. Yet you still don't perceive the design. You know what? Shut the fuck up. You've been terrorizing me with those crappy monologues for decades. 
But this time, I'll set my vacuum cleaner to loud and simply get to work. Act your heart out now, bitch. Wait, no! Just try, try. <laughs> what are you trying to... You're not even listening now! Hey, can you hear me? I'm, I said the Cathedral of Sin! Hey, what's going on? You're, now you're not even looking. You're just being rude. <laughs> He's just standing there with that vacuum cleaner going back and hey guys, forth. Let's go, let's go. To your positions. Stick to the plan. Swat will be here any minute now. <laughs> why why even are we cleaning this up? <laughs> like seriously, why are we cleaning this up? Uh, why is that cage in a library? No clue, I'm not even sure if I want to know. Yes, yeah, someone has definitely gone around the drain over these two uh, decades. And I'm going to guess that we're going to have to dodge the old asshole. Or not. Yeah, he's gotten out of dodge already. Yeah, the oh, there's Jan Sarah. Yeah. I just realized, like, did I see? Well, this can't be, can it? Hmm? They almost spoke like if, as if this was the final chapter. Or at least the final showdown between Bob and uh, <laughs> the Echo Jackass. Yeah, I just hope it's that. But... You know what? I How would you react if this was the final chapter of this uh, game? A bit disappointed, but there is still two years to go between this point and where the story is actually at yeah for but the, for, the first game was uh, extremely long to begin with but i do it was not as this one i think we can agree has way more mechanics and very very different art style yeah for the fact that it's 3d to begin with uh, let's see. yeah and way more character to uh, to give story to, but I am kind of worried if this was is it, like it, theoretically if uh, yeah, if this is the final chapter, that like this is the final episode thingy for this game. It would make me a bit sad, since that would mean that I added so many characters. But I put end up in the way focusing way more on the gameplay. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But the game does feel like it's supposed to be story driven. Yeah, it it is it is more character driven than story driven, I'd say. Yeah, but still that would still be a sort of bad sense we only just getting to know the characters. I think we have a decent understanding of all of them. And we could see them again in the Serial Cleaners too. Uh. Oh right, now I say we you say this this is the second game of the realize, oh right. This is the serial cleaners. So hmm. I'm gonna be surprised that this if this will be the one that will get DLCs. It could be. We'll just have to see what how things go and not draw premature conclusions. Yeah. So far, I hope this is not the final chapter for the game. For it is good, but yeah, it would feel a bit too short. Okay, get you all wrapped up. A drop off point down here, just chucking them all out the windows. Key. Wait, it's a cage with a bed inside. What? Yeah, is it, is it, is it, 
is it supposed to be art thing or was it just sound word? I don't that would not make sense if that's a place where they put prisoners in the, in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that would make I sense. I know librarians can be a bit mean, but I don't think they'd be this hardcore. Yeah, we would probably less mean a more of a security thing, but. Yeah, no, it can't be that. That would not sense for you. That would mean you place them in the middle of a library where everyone else can see that. that no, that would not make sense. And yeah, actually, no, you, know, you would not even bring a prisoner to a library like this to begin with. Okay, wrap this one up, chuck him out the window. I think we'll have more happen. Since, yeah, the Echo Killer is being added in a bit uh, suddenly, but I th I think that is also the point. Like, he he's just an old asshole now. He, he, yeah, he killed a bunch of people here, but in general, he he's a lot less dangerous than he was before. Yeah, the... Hmm. I agree with the adding him to suddenly. Like, like we were building up to the case that, all right, he might have escaped. But yeah, this does feel a, a bit yeah. sudden. Yeah, I think it's meant to undercut him is what I more meant more. Like the fact that the hit bob doesn't take him any seriously at all as well. Yeah, and he's not only that he's stuck in the past and he can't move on. Yeah, and he did say he was over sixty. That that would make sense why they rule move him from another pr less security prison sense. Yeah, he old as hell. <laughs> Come on. Is everyone going to be keep catching sight of that? Okay, just <laughs> open fire immediately, huh? Okay. Uh, so far, I'm just gonna guess that the caging in the middle of the library is some called sort of alt exhibit. Not sure if a library would be the place for an art exhibit. <laughs> uh, many yeah. people do that. It's actually I common. Think, I don't think cage matches would be the thing for that. So, yeah, well, the, 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 my guess is he might have had uh, accomplices outside of prison to help set something up a la the freaking, <laughs> a la freaking Two-Face or something. Yeah, for, I think you've seen there are some globes and such here, but there are oh, usually some bots and... But I think I don't mean like a big fans one, but maybe sort of like a, someone, like a local artist. May have a little art exhibit or a small one. Maybe. But this cage was uh, definitely made to be permanently there. Okay, the rest of the team is waiting outside. I, I question whose idea for ah, let's put this as an art piece in the middle of the hallway. Okay, I am getting Trying to get real annoyed now. Yeah. Mm. I'm not real annoyed, but just annoyed because they have two people who are just catching sight on that the entire time. Yeah, you say is it? Does this game feel a bit harder? They're psycho. Uh, yeah, because we don't really have a uh, the vision cones this time. Yeah, and as it, in the past we were, we were able to learn what each cop did and all that, but we don't really have that in the same way now. Oh, okay, the, we can hide under the bed in there. Okay, that... come on. We just get in there, hide under the bed, wrap up the body, and then just get the hell out. <laughs> okay. 
there. Hey, you wanna hide in under the bed before he sees you? Yeah. Or at least make sure he doesn't see you hide under it. There they are. Okay, are we going to have to... Let's see. Yeah, there's no real point where we can swap out with anyone else. So... Okay, now... And out. There we go. Now what? Okay. Get away. <laughs> Alright, so you need to escape. <laughs> Hopefully without... A bit of extra lead in the back. Wait, I think you can jump out the window. Yeah, that's where we're going here. We did it. We actually did it. And somehow we got out. Hella fucking Luya. Gnarly. I hacked the police communications. Looks like they found Echo. And they're saying... Uh, he has tripped over his shoelaces while running away and fell into an open manhole, dying immediately? You totally shot him, right? I spent a quarter of a century running away from the guy, and he just dies like that. So, what's the lesson here? You gotta confront your past. Police brutality is okay sometimes. Bob is adult. I don't like any of those, so let's just go with... If you survive another day, celebrate by drinking. FNA. <laughs> okay. Still not close to midnight. Oh, There's definitely something going on here. Everything okay up there, big guy? Um, okay. Sure? I'm okay. Fine. I'm all right. D don't worry about it. Uh, someone's feet were pacing through the ground there. Okay, we are definitely approaching something. A ni yeah, 98, New York City, Staten Island. Expansive ambitions of the Serbian mob led to a junkyard shootout with Pataglia soldiers. Too bad the owner never asked questions about all those cars Hell and the others crushed in there. Still, the mess won't clean itself up. First intersection. First picnic with Bob. First corpse disposal. First day with Sam. Good memories. Good place. Safe place. So why is it crawling? With all those worthless flashbacks! You you took you <laughs> you took a date here? Okay, where's the disposals? Okay, just the car, the car. probably a crush. A crush? Yeah, a uh, car crusher. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you were still uh, hung up on the wall, uh, brought a date here. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the different crush. Yep. Which, honestly, I never got that uh, term that you, you call someone you are slightly in love with a crush. 
or someone starting out. I, I, I never understood that. I'm not sure where the terminology came from either. Yeah, then I had the problem that uh, at least in English. There's no other word for it. Well, besides that, they had a little thing or do that could be trusted to many things. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we won't have to clean up the blood or as, as much since there's no bar at the moment, or that just means that we have a hell of a lot to clean up. Okay. Uh, drop shots? What? Uh, okay, they make it look like we need to throw them in, but we can't throw bodies this way. Or does it need to be turned on first? Oh, oh wait. We can throw bodies, but we can throw limbs. Yep. It's a bit bigger than the uh, wood chippers we started uh, with. It, wait, did they? Oh, me for the, I, I'm just kind of happy this is not a sausage machine this time. What, what happened with them? Did Oh, they saw they saw it getting thrown in, and they passed out. Easy enough. And, okay, yeah, we just need to clean up a lot of blood here. Okay, well, he's distracted. Let's see, can we go this way? Yes, we can. Just need to make our own door. There's a wooden door. Big evidence there. Okay, a suitcase. Open one. There's a disposal... Okay, there's a disposal point here. Now, there's the big pressure. Yeah, that, that's one of those things that car goes in, cube comes out. Uh-oh. There. Sniper spotted us for a second. Drop spots. Okay, what is counting as a drop spot here then? Is that our detective again? And there's a civilian. Oh, I think I see. We need to break these down. And then we can drop spot and stuff from it. So just drop stuff down from it. Here we go. Down you go. Down that goes. Wait. That guy... Being very undisturbed about all of this. I'm guessing he works with the Mafia. That or he's bugged. Okay. Be careful with the sniper there. But sniper. The rifleman there, he's staying still, so I'm going to call him as he's oh, he was immediately taking aim. Since we're 
here. Bodies to go and a big evidence. And soon going to be two bodies. Hmm. Yeah, I think we might be getting towards the end of the game, but we are certainly not there just yet. Yeah. No, we certainly it is. won't get it done in this stream. Yeah, I will not be surprised if we get it done next stream of this. But I do hope we at least. At least, maybe two more. We'll have to see. Now so, we just lose him again. I think about that. If it, it's done next stream, I probably will not be too fussed about it. Provided we don't finish it within 10 minutes. Yeah. Still, compared to. <clears throat> keeping in mind all of the things they the massive upgrades that they went with compared to the first i wouldn't be too surprised or too disappointed to, to find out that there isn't too much more yeah and hmm. okay they did if they did this make this under two years it's not too bad give me a moment Okay, just getting called if I wanted to do something for dinner, making the garlic sauce. Yeah, I'll, making I'll garlic sauce, stream. eh? Yeah, and, oh yeah, we are to soon in the stream, actually. Yeah. Okay. Also, a warning if you're going to make your own garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, do you eat fruit regularly? Not too often, at least. Yeah, it is a bit. Homemade garlic sauce can have a very unpleasant reaction to people who, like me, eat free fruits per day. Okay. First, I've heard of that. Uh, I only got to hear about it afterwards, after an incident. Should I even ask it further? You know what? I tell you off the stream for I don't think people want to do this. You're probably I, 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 you're probably the only one I trust to say it. Yes, sounds like uh, a toilet trouble afterwards. Oh, that's only sort of right. Just <laughs> in a way you did not will not expect. Okay, so just a. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it more than clear that we don't really need to talk further on that on stream <laughs> and perhaps not even after. More of a... Probably is... I feel I should be able to tell you probably is how to say it short, simple, without giving too much information, but also give enough information to tell you how horrible... But also... Yeah, just, really just, unique the situation was. Let's just leave it at uh, don't try this at home. Yeah, don't try this at home. It's an experience you don't want to feel I had. It's one of the situations you f thought, never thought of, will think was possible, and don't want to experience. Ugh. Forgot you need to press A again to throw the thing. Okay, this level is proving to be a bit tricky. Especially since we can't seem to knock those snipers down to, well, grab them and move them. Where we may need to knock I'm them down shot. with evidence. 
I'm shuddering at Rox remembering it. Yeah, pro actually, yeah, that's probably why I only... The only time I eat garlic sauce is if I bought it from a store. Yeah, we, we can knock him down, but we can't grab him, even though there is top lock-up spots here. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Also, I like that it seems that most of the levels have their own little tune. Shot in the back. Okay, let's just go this way instead. Go up. Actually, can we get somewhere using this now? Or no, we can't go in through the window. Okay, so even if we throw that at them, it doesn't work. Um, hmm, how, how are we supposed to deal with them then? Since we are too close, we get too close uh, to that one just climbing up the ladder. Oh, I was thinking about the crane, but... Okay, this one is on the crane. The moment we pick it up, he's going to shoot. Is this a design error or something? Wait, wait. It, this game is actually new, correct? Yeah, it came out in like September. Okay, September. Okay, there will be enough time to fix something like this, so. Wink. Come on. So who has a giant pipe just leading into the side of their building here? Good question. Yeah, I guess it makes a bit more sense when you know you're dealing with the scrapyard or something. Yeah, it makes you maybe have it next to a building, but... It leading inside the building? is what makes it weird. Actually, maybe if we just immediately dip, immediately start cutting, that that is enough to get them to stop shooting, maybe? You mean uh, you make them faint? Yep. There's not much else that we have in our repertoire at the moment. We can't charge him. Again, knock them unconscious. Nope, they just shoot immediately. Hmm. This might be one of those things I feel like we might we might need tips on. Or if the locations are randomized, we might need to restart the level. So I'm starting to get the feeling. Why are you not? Like, I get the uh, feeling that random, if the locations and such are randomized, then we just got a bad deal with that at the moment. Yeah, perhaps the... The other game did have some levels that were the items were randomly placed. Like, the level was the same always. Just the things you need to get was sometimes randomized. Yeah, not the locations of the bodies and... Evidence was randomized. Yeah, what uh, that, we had that, to that, get that was always the same. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Here, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they would try to do that system here. For I feel like that a system like that would be very detrimental to the gameplay. Now, now, come on, I charged into him there. Mm -hmm. 
seriously? starting to just get annoyed but i think it seems to work that if we charge in into hit the sniper from behind that seems to stun them maybe enough for us to grab the body and make a run for it just gotta wait for him to leave otherwise he will get, will get shot by them that will still leave the evidence there as an issue. And where is the last body then? Hmm. Like we can't take the body and run him up because then we're just running into the line of sight of the other guy. Now we managed to knock them down. Okay, maybe if we knock them down and then immediately start cutting. Hey. Let's see, is there a yeah, restart? Let's see if this puts anything in different places. They are in the same places still, that is... Yeah, then we're just going to need to grab some yeah, big evidence here, I think. Okay, I'm not sure if that was there in the middle before. Body is still there. Big ev Okay, it looks like they are in similar places at least. Okay. I think they're all in the same places, actually. Grab you. This will mean we may need to have a guide. Now we just... We just don't use, we don't put this away too soon. And we just go knock out the one up there. Put them in a dumpster. And yeah, we can do the rest without them being an issue. Really, I, I threw it to the side of your head and you don't respond. There we go. And now, just being such an asshole, in you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like everything is in the same place. So, no more randomization. There's this is probably the best. Oh, there's so many mechanics in this game. I feel like. Sense, especially when it when it's di with different characters now, randomization would cause an issue. Yeah. Like if we just Bob still, then maybe not too much since Bob have hit set of skills, but five characters each with unique skills. Five four. Then, yeah. Then suddenly will be the randomization will be. Oh yeah, there's four, sorry. But yeah, four people and add an conversation to this. It will not work. Okay, that's the stream timer. Let's at least finish the level. And... Okay, it looks like we need to cut them up here. No full body uh, squeeze. So we'll just meet... We're making meat balls instead of one giant meat bat. Uh... Do you mean meat cubes? Yeah, they're going in all the same. I don't think we've had any opportunity where we could spray someone 
if throwing a limb into something just just completely grind it down into nothing. Kill. Why? I think you I think you 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 just jinxed it. No, it sort of feels like that might happen on a level. It might, depends on how much we have left. Hello, you. No. He immediately draws his pistol and becomes immune to damage. Okay. Might as well start cleaning up here then. They look different. Yeah. Guess that's the only one randomized. Yeah, since it's civilian anyways. Okay. Trying to get around this guy. Are there really no other dumping spots? No. The only place we can leave the bodies whole is uh, by dumping them in the car. Uh, I think it broke. Hey, you! Stop! It broke from so the. I feel, I feel like maybe it could have broken if there was too much human bodies, but there was just a few limbs. It's still showing as a possible point. It might, it might have something to do with uh, the game saving or something like that while it was working or. Hmm. Oh well. We still have the other grinder, and we can just dump them in the back of the car anyways, which probably looks like a one of Dexter's uh, locations. Dexter's? Yeah, the, the TV show. Not Dexter's lab. I, that, I know that one. I, I know both of them. I know both of them. Just... I'm almost just forgotten about that show. I, I was seen a little bit of it, actually. Yeah, seems like we'll have to cut it short anyways, because Dinner Call just came out. Okay, well, at least we now know how to get through this level. And yeah, let's go look for someone to raid. First time with the, the big screen, which makes it look like we're in a freaking movie theater or something. Yeah. Uh, Come what? on, there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Moving to the front. Uh, let's look for a quick uh, raid then. Uh, let's see. We have Kena who is streaming Dark and Darker. I hear that is still in early access. It's just having free weekends or something. Uh, Sour Walrus is streaming the same. Pexicle is streaming Grounded. Uh, Dogger Douglas McDog is streaming Tomb Raider again. Uh, wait, what? Happy 55th birthday, Laura. Okay, I, I didn't know it was that time. Oh, we uh, should have played Tomb Raider then. <laughs> yeah, on the anniversary. Okay, let's mute the site and go raid them then. <laughs> okay, uh, copy the well, name. Guess, guess we stream that later if Alien fees up for it. Yeah, <laughs> anniversary on the anniversary. Slash raid and paste. And let's start go get going. Uh, yeah, I'll see what some I I'll see what some other people think about the big screen layout. Uh, may we may just go for a full full screen, but we'll see in time. For now, though, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure though about the full screen. It says, I see that it say that that will may might end us make us uh, end up blocking something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, they really start this. You do just need to keep shouting like, hey, 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 like a fucking annoying fairy. Anyways, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, we'll see if we'll do a Tomb Raider stream later or not. Uh, until then, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. And watch out for serial cleaners. Scary things. <laughs>
<laughs> Stream Deck.